It is the 7th of the 6th, 2012. This is today's climate change update. Let's go ahead and get started on SOT.net. USGS reporting a 6.0 magnitude earthquake in southern Peru. This is another in a series of earthquakes that have been uh, plaguing Peru for the past little while. Severe cold, uh, severe Colorado storm, large hail tornado near Denver International Airport, and heavy flooding around Fort Range. Some severe um, weather rolling through the central United States. Severe weather rips through southern Ontario, Canada. A uh, band of thunderstorms prompted Environment Canada to issue a tornado warnings for parts of cottage country north of uh, Barrie, including Perry Sound, Huntsville, and Baysville Wednesday evening. State officials warn of growing dangers of a massive mud flow at Mount Rainier. Um, they're saying if the volcano does go, the mud flow will be uh, devastating. The cost of approximately up to $6 billion, and of course they're just guessing. First ever 4.0 earthquake recorded off the coast of Ireland. Surprising geologists, a leading seismologist said yesterday's earthquake off the west coast unexpected and it posed very interesting questions for geologists. I guess we're just going to have to stay tuned. And a 66 foot long floating dock with Japanese inscriptions washes up on the Oregon beach. Now, I've seen some of the reports on this where they actually got these little kids crawling on this damn thing and uh, everybody's touching it. I didn't see one decimeter at all on the area. And again, we're just getting started with the tsunami debris. Tornado at Baltimore Airport, uh, June 1st. Tornado touches down in Hungary on June 1st. A more um, severe weather around the world. And another tornado was filmed over Mexico City on June 1st. Over to the RSOE quick. Um, Drought conditions coming in, reports out of California, the Alameda, Marion, and Tahama counties. Got a nuclear event in the state of Ohio, the davis Bessie Nuclear Power Station. Apparently they were refueling and uh, readjusting and doing a, a hot warm-up and found pin leaks uh, in the cooling system. Um, so they have to repair that before they can fire that uh, nuclear reactor back up for the safety of all people. You know, you got to have that cheap energy. Tornadoes reported out of Australia, state of Western Australia and Perth area. A uh, big force fire out of Russian, Russia, of course. Extreme weather, uh, southwest England. Um, they've had some torrential rains and winds and waves and all of that. Uh, got a force fire in the state of Hawaii. State of New Mexico, of course, the Santa Fe National Forest still continues. And that's about all new they've got going on today. Let's just go ahead and go over to ENE News and cover the, the headlines quick. Soaring number of Fukushima children with headaches and nausea. Six-fold increased blamed on stress. There's a sign, uh, they got a picture of a sign posted at a Tokyo hospital. We do not treat radiation exposure. Nurse, we are told to say we don't do tests for radiation exposure. So they're not even testing for this, but uh, they're blaming all this new disease on stress. Ambassador's News Conference, Fukushima Diachi not under control at all. I repeat, not under control at all. A security problem for the entire world. Florida had highest single-day iodine-131 concentration of any U.S. monitoring station after Fukushima, and that came out of Florida. U.S. study radioactive xenon-133 in Washington was 450,000 times above the detection levels after Fukushima, and it persisted for weeks. Government said to have practiced kind of genocide by not protecting citizens from radioactivity after Chernobyl. And there's a video on that. Can we only imagine what people are going to say uh, after this Fukushima insanity finally get, comes to light? 
giant piece of tsunami debris washes up on Oregon, biologists shocked by what they found. This makes us rethink everything. <sighs> yeah, they got to rethink their whole lie plan, plan going on for us. Uh, Kyoto, number four fuel pool warms. Backup pump stopped on Wednesday. Main pump stopped on Tuesday. TEPCO expects temperature to start falling. Uh, I saw on Fukushima Diaries, uh, they're saying that they've actually got the cooling system back up and running. Japanese doctor, after woman's thyroid cancer diagnosis, quote, I can't help expecting that we are going to have a catastrophic health hazard caused by the accident at Fukushima. <laughs> Chinese official calls Chiba Port, quote, an area with high radiation risk, unquote. Uh, they found some scrap metal coming out of Chiba Harbor in a Chinese port that was three times over their minimum level. And, uh, of course, they rejected and sent the stuff back. So we've got radioactive um, produce, scrap, electrical equipment, because they're still making all these little electronic uh, parts in the exclusion zones because uh, they can't afford to move the industries. And uh, it's in all your, soft, in all your hardware. And uh, here we go, all around the world. And, of course, the massive fish kill outside Tokyo in Chiba. The site is somewhat apocalyptic. Almost looks like a carpet of sardines. And this is the big fish kill I reported a few days ago about how they actually literally had to close the port um, for five days to try to clean up this mess. Japan lawmaker coolant system at number four fuel pool may take three days to fix. Temperature within a few degrees of safety limit by then. Don't worry, folks, everything's perfectly under control. And uh, government is paying MIT to figure out how to get the public to accept nuclear projects. Uh, the manipulation continues. Uh, that's about all I have for you today. Enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks.